Hey guys, just let your light shine. I'm here at Crystal Cove because it's a really cool place located in Newport Beach. And right behind me is a cottage. And why is that so important? It's because it's in the film called Beaches. And so I'm going to try to scan the area and then do some screenshots to compare from the movie and then what it is today. So enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, and it's a fun little cottage. Apparently, from what I'm told, a lot of these were built with kits that people bought from either Sears or, um, oh, this is 1988, so that must be one of the Oh, okay. Yeah. They bought these either from kits from Montgomery Ward or from Sears Roebuck. Oh. And then, <laughs> That's so weird that back in the day people would just build their own house. Oh, I know. Yeah. You just have it shipped to wherever you wanted it to go, and then you started putting it together. So the lady was telling me that this front, there was more to it for the movie. Just for, uh, so it was bigger than what you see here. And then this picture right here is actually right over here. So you'll see it with the piano. Looking out to the ocean. Now, from what I did see, was that the platform was higher because they were sitting outside on their little chairs, but they were like the the fencing was just like a foot. Well, this is what the fencing looks like right here. So if you go back and stand in front of it, that's what you'll see. Uh -huh. There wasn't a, that staircase they put in that wasn't there. It isn't there now. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'll show that as well. So there is a, a part where they just kind of sit outside and overlook the beach and uh, it'd be right here. There's a section where Bette Midler is literally walking out here. I believe she goes this way. All right, so here's the front view of this house. And this would be their view looking out. The tide pools are actually right here. So this would be what they would see when they're hanging out in their patio. Another shot of that. Best to go during low tide, obviously. I don't know how much of this gets covered during high tide, but. Get another shot of the house from this end. So 
yeah, they had a nice little private cottage right by the beach like that. Very interesting rocks here. Surprisingly, it's not too slippery. I thought I'd fall. Right, guys thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and all that fun stuff and uh come on out to crystal cove beach state beach it's a really neat place to go there's lots of things here there's a restaurant called the beachcomer right there by the sand right there by the water it's really nice and of course the tide pools here and beaches cottage and then of course the beach oh and there's abandoned cottages as well they're restoring all of them and they're the last ones to be restored but yeah, I'll pan over to those right now. All right, so you see all these cottages right here. They've all been restored. And apparently you go to reserveamerica.com. You have to book. It's crazy. It's hard to book them. I think it's like six months in advance you have to do it. And you have to be on it. Apparently it's not very expensive as well. That's probably why there's a huge list. But if you see the one straight ahead, Yeah, these ones are still vacant. They are fenced off, but uh, yeah, they're gonna restore those. Definitely a cool place to go. And uh, outside of the movie Beach is being filmed here, there was a bunch of other movies as well. Um, since the 1920s, apparently even silent movies were filmed here. So they used to use this area um, as like a Hawaiian setting or a Tahiti setting. Because of the palm trees, they can make it look like it's a tropical island or so. Just cool facts. Thanks for watching.